Welcome back to the shop everyone. This is part one of the CNC mill build. I lost a bunch of footage when my SD card got corrupted. Uh, I pieced this together the best I could. Uh, I hope you enjoy. I replaced the Acme screws with 25 millimeter anti-backlash ball screws on all the axes. This is me installing the one on the Z axis. I basically modified everything on this machine. Instead of using the factory ways, I've installed 20 millimeter linear rails and bearings. This is me installing the ones on the Z axis. I added a bunch of weight in the column and in the base with epoxy granite for rigidity and uh, vibration reasons. Uh, it's hard to see, but if you look in the slot where the Z is, you can kind of see where it's been walled off and put in. Now that the linear rails are all in, it's time to tram them out and make sure that they're parallel to each other.
this process can be very time consuming. Anytime you have to tram anything, it can take forever. Uh, luckily, the way that these were made, they can't be too far out. So it wasn't too, too bad trying to get these trammed in. And as you can see, I got them pretty good. Uh, I think I'm like half a thou over the entire travel, which is fine for what this machine is going to be doing. As you can see, the head and motor and everything is on. Uh, I lost all the footage of that going together. Uh, but I trammed out the column itself. So that is square to the table. And now I'm going to work on tramming the actual spindle head. As you can see, it's a constant back and forth trying to get this trammed in. Now, you move it one way, you gotta move it back. It's just the way the game is.
Now, this is crappy footage, but after what felt like a couple of hours of trying to get this in, uh, I got it within a half a thou. So, it's not terrible. I forget what this bar is called. Uh, it's for checking your run out on your spindle head. So I'm installing that so I can check my run out and see how close everything is. getting the magnetic base and the indicator all set up so that we can check this run out and see how good everything is. Hopefully we don't have to change anything. And luckily, everything's good. Uh, at the top of the spindle, it was only out by about a half a thou. And at the bottom, which is about 19 inches of travel, uh, it was only out by a couple of thou, which is fine. Uh, I hope everyone enjoyed. Uh, hopefully, it doesn't take me long to get the parts made for part two.